Hi kids! Today I was thinking about how I could help people at the moment. There's lots of people around right now who need a lot of help and I was thinking about how I could do that. So I thought maybe I could train to become a doctor. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. I know, how about I go and work for the government? I could come up with laws. I could be the new Boris Johnson. Just imagine it, Susie Crothers leading the country. Children must partake in daily chores such as cleaning the toilet. All children must eat Brussels sprouts daily. Easter eggs are now banned. All children must clean their bedrooms every hour. Ooh, I think that was an even worse idea. Hmm, maybe neither of those are quite right for me. But you know what? That's because God has put me on a different path. There's something different that I'm meant to do. I'm really good at music and that's something that God has given me. And I really enjoy teaching and that's something that God has given me. So I don't need to be something else right now. I can be exactly who God made me to be. And you know, God also made me to be here right now and he made you to be here right now too. So even if we're not one of those people that we're hearing about on the news, there's still loads that we can do to help. And the most powerful weapon that we have right now is prayer. God tells us in the Bible that if we ask for something, we'll get it. If we look for something, we'll find it. Okay? And God is telling us that when we pray, if we ask for something in our prayers, he'll give it to us. And if we're looking for answers in our prayers, he'll give us those answers. They don't always come the way that we expect them to come, but they do come. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask God what he wants me to pray for right now. And I'm going to make a list. And then, we're going to do some crafts. Number one, doctors and nurses. Number two, for healing. Number three, for my family and my friends. Number four is for hope. Number five could be for people who haven't yet met Jesus, but who are going to. And number six can be for me to do something really good every day. Now onto the craft. You will need two pieces of paper, some colouring pencils, scissors, a split pin, or if you don't have one, a paper clip will do, a pen, a small bowl, a ruler, and a large bowl. Now you're ready. First, you need to draw around the large bowl on one of your pieces of paper. Then, do the same with the other page. Once you've done that, you can cut them out. Next, we need to find the centre of both of our circles. We do this by folding it in half one way and then folding it in half the other way. When you open it up, the folds will cross over and that's where the middle is. Now you need to mark the middle with a pen. Do the same for the other piece of paper. Now I'm going to split these into how many prayers I have. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great, so I need to make six sections on each of my round circles. To do this, I'm going to use a ruler and I'm going to draw a line right through the middle. Make sure you line it up with your centre dot. Now, you can use the same ruler to make it into six pieces like a pizza. Do that with both circles. The next step is to draw around the centre of each circle with our small bowl. Now, on one of our pieces of paper, we need to cut out the outer section of one of our six parts. 
Now I'm going to label each section in our smaller circle with a number for each prayer. Now for the drawing. My first prayer is for doctors and nurses, so I'm going to put that in my first big section. I'm going to draw something that represents doctors and nurses for me. My second prayer is for healing. So in the second box, I'm going to do something to do with healing. Now I'm not very good at drawing, but I can do bubble writing, so I'm going to write the word instead and colour it in. My third prayer is for my family and friends. So in the third box, I'm going to do something for family and friends. There's my dad, and my mum, and my sister, and my brother-in-law, and my dog Monty. My fourth prayer is for hope. Prayer number five is for the people who don't yet know Jesus, but who are going to meet him. I think I'm going to draw a waving hand, because that's what we do when we meet people. Last, but not least, is for me to do something good every day. There you go. Now I'm just going to go round the outside of some things with a thick black paint to make them stand out a little bit more. For a bit more colour, I'm going to add a different colour background to each of my different prayers. That's my first circle done. On to the second one. This circle is going to go on top, so I'm going to do a title. I'm going to call it Susie's Prayer Wheel. Let's add some colour. I'm going to go round the letters with a big black pen to make them stand out more. I think I want a blue background. Now that we've coloured everything, it's time to put our two pieces together. So we need to make a hole in the middle of both pieces. Then we can put our split pin through and they can move. So, when you're making your hole in the middle, perhaps you might want to ask an adult to help. I'm going to poke a pencil through with some blue tack on the other side so I don't get hurt. Now that they're together, you can go through all of your different prayers and you can see what you could pray for next. Hopefully this will help you remember what amazing things God wants you to pray for. Bye!